everybody. Hey Quinn, you wanna scare Dad? Yeah. Hey Dad. What? What did you get Mom for Mother's Day? Girls, I have to run to the store real quick, okay? While Dad is scrambling to find a gift for Mom, let's learn about Mother's Day. And make sure if you love your mom, smash that thumbs up button. Do it now, do it now, please. Now let's start the video. Mother's Day is a holiday we celebrate to honor our mothers and or stepmothers. Many of us owe our moms so much for all their hard work, their love, and most importantly, the patience that they show us as we grow up and they raise us. There's nothing quite like the love of a mother for her children. So to pay respect to moms all across the globe, we wanted to give you this video that teaches you the history of Mother's Day. The tradition of Mother's Day can be traced back to spring festivals in ancient Greece, which paid tribute to the mother of their gods. The mother's name was Rhea. But the clearest modern no reason for celebrating Mother's Day is linked back to the early Christian festival known as Mothering Sunday. So what is Mothering Sunday? Well, during the 1600s in England, the fourth Sunday of Lent, which was two Sundays before Easter Sunday, became known as Mothering Sunday. On this day, Christians honored Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. They would do this by decorating churches with flowers as well as jewels. But soon thereafter, the Mothering Sunday celebration started to include the celebration of actual mothers as well, not just Mary. During this day, maids as well as servants were permitted to go and travel home to visit their mothers too. Families would eat lots of food and give small presents to their mothers in celebration. Many times the most popular treat during Mothering Sunday was a cake. This cake was called a Simnel cake and it was filled with spices and fruits as well as a gift for mom. Now let's discuss the history of how Mother's Day started in North America, the way we celebrate it today. Mother's Day is a national holiday in the United States. The holiday was introduced by a hardworking mother and activist from Virginia. Her name was Anna Reeves Jarvis. She was critical in starting Mother's Day Work Clubs, or Mother Friendship Clubs. These clubs were created to teach local women how to properly care for their children. In the years after the end of the Civil War, Anna was a driving force in saving the lives of thousands by teaching women with her mother's friendship clubs. Mothers were taught the basics of nursing as well as sanitation, which helped to not only keep their children clean and well taken care of, but also as healthy as possible. Anna Reeves' wish was that someday the importance and role of a mother's work would be formally recognized by everyone. Another reason we celebrate Mother's Day came from an abolitionist and suffragette named Julia Ward Howe. Julia's ideas were heavily based on Anna Reeves Jarvis. In 1870, Julia Ward Howe wrote the Mother's Day Proclamation. The Mother's Day Proclamation was a call to action that requested mothers to come together promoting world peace. Julia Ward Howe campaigned for a Mother's Peace Day. This day was to be celebrated every June 2nd. But this version of Mother's Day only lasted a few years. Anna Reese Jarvis died on May 9, 1905. Then her daughter, who was also named Anna, worked hard to fulfill her mother's wish. In 1908, 
Anna Jarvis crafted a plan to get an official day celebrating Mother's Day. Anna, as well as her friends and supporters, began a letter writing campaign. These letters were created and sent to help create a national holiday to celebrate the importance of being a mother. The younger Anna believed so strongly in her mother's work, as well as the celebration of a recognized Mother's Day, that she actually left her job to work full time on this idea. She worked as hard as she could to make sure the holiday was recognized and celebrated all over the United States of America. Then, in 1910, after all of her hard work and the work her mother as well as Julia Ward Howe had done before her, Anna Marie got the state of West Virginia to declare Mother's Day an official holiday. The rest of the nation soon followed. In 1914, it was declared a national holiday. Then, President Woodrow Wilson declared Mother's Day to be celebrated on the second Sunday in May. The younger Anna Jarvis was responsible for making the white carnation a popular symbol of Mother's Day. Red carnations are actually used to celebrate mothers that are still alive, while white carnations are used to place on graves of mothers who have passed on. Believe it or not, the younger Anna Jarvis, who many consider the mother of Mother's Day, never had any children of her own. After she died in 1948, at the age of 84, she was buried next to her mother in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At the time Anna Jarvis died, the day she worked so hard to help create, Mother's Day, was being celebrated in over 40 countries. Now, today, Mother's Day is celebrated in over 70 nations all around the globe. It is used to celebrate all of the special women in all of our lives. Even though there are many countries that celebrate Mother's Day, many other countries celebrate their own Mother's Day at different times throughout the year. For example, the United Kingdom celebrates it on the fourth Sunday of Lent. But in Norway, it is celebrated on the second Sunday of February. In Egypt, Mother's Day is celebrated on the first day of spring. Besides the United States, the Philippines, Japan, Denmark, Finland, Italy, Turkey, Australia, and Belgium celebrate Mother's Day on the second Sunday of May. In Thailand, Mother's Day is celebrated in August. This day coincides with the birthday of their current queen, Sirikit. In Ethiopia, Mother's Day is celebrated with large feasting as well as singing and dancing. In Brazil, Mother's Day is the second biggest holiday, with Christmas being the first. And in Serbia, they celebrate the entire family in the same month. Mother's Day is celebrated in December, along with Father's Day, as well as Children's Day. In Germany, Mother's Day is called Muttertag. It usually is also celebrated on the second Sunday in May, unless it falls on Pentecost. One of the most popular gestures for Mother's Day is giving Mother's Day cards. In Australia, it is common tradition to give carnations, chrysanthemums, as well as other flowers. And in Sweden, plastic flowers are sold on Mother's Day and the money raised buying these plastic flowers is then used to help mothers and their children who are in need of help. Here is a few facts about Mother's Day. There was a stamp created to commemorate Mother's Day in 1934. Mother's Day is the biggest day of the year for restaurants. 
and there are easily over a hundred million phone calls made just on Mother's Day every single year. Did you know that there are an estimated 1.7 billion mothers worldwide? Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey Guess What? Happy Mother's Day!